Okay, now let us turn our eyes and minds to moments of forces acting on polygons. Let us start with this example. These are very easy. We are going to start with the next example. Then we move on and we progress. Okay, a square of side 4 meters. So the square means that this one, the length, is going to be the same because this is the square. It's 4 meters, as simple as that. Okay. Has forces 6 newton, 3, 6, 3. Newton is acting along the sides. You note the sides, be careful with the sides. A, B, C, D, and D, A. With the directional forces indicated with the order of the letters. Show that the forces form a couple. We said it forms a couple if there's other force is zero. The x component is zero, the y component is zero. Okay, so let us see uh, that. So the note 6 newtons goes with a b. So if this is our a and this is our b, a b 6 newtons, that's the direction, a b. Then b c 3 newtons, b c 3 newtons, this one is 3 newtons. Then c d 6 newtons. Our C D and then D A three newtons D A is going to be three newtons. Okay, so that's the order. The order A B in that direction, B C in that direction. If this was C B, then it would have been the right side opposite. Show that the forces form an up. Okay, what we need to show, we need to show that. The resultant has the x component as zero and the y component as zero, as simple as that. So we need now to get forces acting horizontally in that direction. So this will give us the x component, which will be we have six, then plus, so this one is negative six, which will give us a zero. Then this one is acting upwards by plus our y acting upwards, we have a three, then plus. This one is opposing, so negative 3, which will be 0. Remember, our result of force is given by x factor y, which will be 0, 0. And it's that in Morpheus, it's going to be so that that force is 0. Since as a result, the result and Force is zero. How do we know that it's zero? Because a r is going to be the square root of zero. Square root of zero. Square root will be zero. And the force is zero. Then now this means two things. Either the force is at equilibrium or the 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 force the, the system form a cup. So you know the system forming a cup. Then the system of forces form a couple. That is our part here. With is the result is zero newtons. Okay, let us learn part B. Find the moment by taking moments about the center of the square. Okay. So I'm going to draw it. This is my part B. I'm going to take them. We are taking them to a first at the center of the square. Okay, no problem. I'll take it at the center of the square. Remember our square from here up here. We have four meters. And also means from here up here it should be only four meters because the square has all sides equal. So this is our A, B, C, D. So this is 6 newtons, 3 newtons, 4 newtons, 6, sorry, 6 newtons, then 3 newtons. We say if the, the couple has the result of zero, but the moment is not zero, the sum of the moments is not zero. So let me take this to be my center. O. Let us let me call this the center O. 
So taking moments about all. So let me use the select people and let me see what I'm talking about. Now taking three, okay. Let us take them and clockwise. It's okay, can I take them and clockwise or clockwise? It's up to you. So all, let me take them. Uh, Okay, let me take them and clockwise. It's up to you. So, and now, and clockwise, which force should we start with? Remember, we need to get the sum we need, the force, and then the vacuum distance. Okay, when I start, let me start with this significant force. So, my P is going to be when I'm under the force. It's where it's going to act, to act. From there, it's going to act and clockwise. So, you see the distance. If this is the center, it means from here to here. These are going to be 2 meters. And then also here, it will be 2 meters. Then also up, that is going to be 2 meters. And then this is going to be also 2 meters. Because at the center, from here to here, it is going to be up here. So if this is 4, divide this by 2, it will be 2 meters, 2 meters, as simple as that. So, from here, you can see the force is 6 times the perpendicular distance from the where we are taking moments from. We are taking them from O. So the perpendicular distance there is 2. Okay. Then we come to 3. When we come to 3, you see it's going in the direction also. So we are putting now plus 3 times the perpendicular distance. You see from here up to here, they are 2 units. So 2. When you come now to C, I think it's where it's going, it's going in the direction also. So plus 6 times 2, then plus, when you come to this one, you see it's going also clockwise. So plus 3 times 2. And so our moment there, this is 12 plus 12, that is 36 Newton meters and clockwise clockwise if you take them clockwise which will be our key will be equal to negative 3 that is 6 newton meters clockwise if you take them clockwise that's what you're going to get because this is just a change in direction okay this is normal number one then the number of two, taking them about A. So we need to draw now, because we are going to take them about A. So this is my square. From here up to here, they are four meters. And still from here up to here, they are four meters still, because it's a square. So this one is three meters. This is C, D, three. This is six. This one is 6 newtons, this one is 3 newtons, in that order. Now, taking moments about A, we are taking moments about A here. So, moments about A, I'm taking them and clockwise. So, my sum will be, it's about A. Let me start with the 6 newtons first. This way it's going, that's where it's going. So I have six times. What's the perpendicular distance from here, from this point to this point? You see, it's going to be zero. This is the point. So the perpendicular distance from here, this force is zero. Because you say, if the point where we're taking moments is on the line of action of the force, this is the line of action of the force. So the point is there. So that's why, why it's going to be zero. Then plus, we come to this three. I think you see the perpendicular distance from here to here. Going to be four from here up to here is four. So three times four. Then plus when it comes to six, it's where six is, is in this direction. So from here up to here is going to be four. Uh, three times four, yes. Then from here up to here is going to be four. So I'm going to be adding six times. You see from here, from this point. You see the perpendicular distance, that's where the force is active. So, from here up to here, they are 4 meters times 4. Then plus, when I come to 3, you see where 3 is active. You see the 3 is active. So, the perpendicular distance from here, you see we don't have any perpendicular distance. 
because this point we are taking the line of action of this force. So it shall be able to do as the distance perpendicular. So our gear there is going to be uh, this is going to be 4 plus 24, which is going to be here plus 6 newton meters anti clockwise. What does it tell us? Remember, I was saying at a point, if the system is forming a couple, wherever you take moments from, it's going to give you the same moment. Whether you take it here, or you take it here, or you take it here, or here, or in the middle, or here, it's going to give you the same. That's why taking them at O, the same. Taking them at A, the same. You try at B, it's going to be the same. That's it. I wish you well.